What's going on guys? It's Overcome at Arctic Gaming, and today we're playing Marvel Heroes Omega. Today I want to explain a few things, but the focus of it is the treasure hunting trophy, which is exploring all the treasure rooms and all of the chapter story missions. So anytime you're in an area where there's other people running around that's not in your party, these are places where the treasure rooms are going to be. So what you're going to want to do is click on the right stick and you can open up your map in the middle of the screen as you see on mine. And you want to f find these loot rooms. Any door that's orange, like this one, we're going to enter this. Any doors that are orange are going to be the loot rooms. Any doors that are blue are going to be story mission ones. So what you want to make sure you do, you know, before you leave these areas is clear out all the loot rooms. So, the point of these loot rooms is you want to kill all the enemies in there, and once you do, on the top left side of the screen, you'll see loot cache revealed, which you see there. And what that means is you can go back to the entrance, near the entrance of where you walked in, and there will be a treasure. Once you open that treasure, it counts towards that trophy, so just make sure you keep going. Um, on a side note, you might want to pick up every piece of coin or cash that is on the ground there is a trophy called gazillionaire that is uh looting a million credits you cannot these aren't credits that you sell it has to be looted off the ground now on the harder difficulties we'll drop more cash so as you can see here i'm making sure i'm highlighting all the map making sure there's no undiscovered areas so i'm going to go into the second loot room here and i'm going to be doing the same thing um, on some side notes, uh, while you know you're watching this loot room, you might want to pick up at least when you're first starting off, picking up all of the gear because you're gonna want to be able to sell or donate. I highly recommend donating at least one vendor to level 10 before you start selling items. Um, you don't really use the credits for very many things, so what I like to do is level up my vendors so I can craft better items um, but it is a trophy to level up to 10 so make sure you know whenever you're full hit down on your d-pad and fast travel back to headquarters and whatever vendor you want I do all I do multiple of them but anyways like I said don't continue with the story until you have cleared every all this all the map you want to make sure that you discover the whole map before you move on but here we go. Here's one with the uh, orange door in the triangle with the uh, skull on it. This is the boss one. This particular one is the rhino fight. Um, any door that's orange, um, the ones with the triangle and skull is, is usually a boss. Um, usually they like to drop, you know, better gear for you or better, more XP. That's not all the time. At least when it comes to looting in this game, it seems like luck is uh, more important than skill. So it's just a matter of playing and going through. But um, when you these beginning areas, this is Jersey Docks. This is in Chapter Two. I just chose to do this for this video, alongside doing it on normal. I'm actually playing on Cosmic right now, but for the sake of this video, to make it as short as possible, I decided to do it on normal. So as you can see on the top right, you know, on the right side of the screen, it says you know defeat, you know, Shockers, Thugs, and then Rhino comes out. So what you want to do is just beat him. So it's no different than any other loot room. Just obviously there's a boss at the end of it which is, you know, good. He's not, you know, they're not usually really tough, you know. But once you beat him, the uh, loot cache will pop up and you go ahead and open it and it's all yours. So I hope you guys found this useful. Just make sure you do this in every area that you go to. And as always, please like and subscribe.